entitled to land who are entitled to compensation. But anyone who has had usage of the land uh, lawfully, even if they do not have title, are entitled to compensation. And therefore, Madam Speaker, I fully support the, you know, that this petition be submitted to the relevant committee and a proper inquiry be done, including summoning the National Land Commission and Kenha to clarify those issues. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Leader for Majority, Honorable James Wandai. Uh, thank you, Madam Speaker. Let me also uh, uh, add my voice uh, to this petition, which I think is very important. You know, I can feel for the residents of Jomvu constituency, the great Jomvu constituency, led by my friend, Honorable Badi Twalib. You know, under the law, and indeed the guidelines, before an implementing agency undertakes a project, first and foremost, they must be sure that they have got a proper budgetary allocation, adequate budgetary allocation. Even if a project is co-funded by international partners, the component for land compensation ordinarily comes from the GOK, as, as is the case in, on, in this matter. So it is important that the implementing agencies, which in this case was Kenha, should have taken it upon itself to carry out, to allocate enough money and transfer that money to the National Land Commission for purposes of compensating the project affected persons. There can be no shortcut. You can't commence a project before the project affected persons or pubs are compensated for their land, for their land. So I think this is a, a very, 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 very unwarranted injustice uh, on the people of Jomvu. And I think uh, steps must be taken to, 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 to remedy the situation. Uh, Madam Speaker, and therefore I support the idea that this uh, petition be processed in an expeditious manner. Thank you. The Honourable Member for Kilifi North. 